slapping my face with fairness creams every face wash was a slap in the face because I was a skin tone which was ugly my chest was too small for a girl who just said puberty and my skinny waist and unhealthy thigh gap was the only thing I wore confidently around I had a voice and opinion but they muted my sound probably because I was told boys only like girls who were fair and lovely my cousin brother starving himself because skinny abs were easier to obtain than a healthy diet he read about actors doing juice diets and decided he wanted to try it all because there wasn't a single GQ or man's world that didn't have abs and boss we forget that beauty for men also comes with the cost and it asked for a penny for your thoughts but I heard being healthy is wealthy and it's both we've lost I am the color of the strong fragrant tea auntie sips are nonchalantly remarking Bipasha would be prettier if she was fair the color of our skin dictates our beauty and that's not the only thing that's unfair when we brown girls revolt against our own deflections every single time an Indian magazine puts a light skin girl on a cover calling her brown I asked my mother to get me healthy yellow paste over yellow paste because anything is better than brown anything is better than dark only light skin with European features are considered art my friend's face is covered with cream more than his girlfriend's kisses he flinches every time she says she accepts him for his true colors how do I teach him to embrace the color of his skin when she keeps gifting him fairness creams, his daily baptism with sunscreen to protect him from sun tans, men lathering themselves with the same behind closed doors because apparently being insecure makes you less of a man. When I was asked to be an idol body type, I was taught they want the curvy chick but not the cellulite, they want the big butt but not the thick thighs, they want the talk small but the waist smaller, they want the heart big but the chest bigger. And often women of gender reiterate these thoughts but you see it's internalized, it's what we've been taught. So I asked my ma, instead of looking for grooms who are fair, let's look for grooms who treat people fairly. Because the color of someone's skin isn't what we should consider when we look to marry. Virtues, belief, opinion and decisions scale large than his stand on a fairness scale. Forget Snow White, say hello to Chocolate Brown, I'll write my own fairy tale. There isn't a single person who isn't pulled apart by these expectations. Brown girls talk about getting the right foundation. Boys constantly doing weight calculations. We're all more than our coloration and body types. Cause you and I, we're all alike. With the hope of being able to someday love another, let's begin by being our own first lovers. Because people aren't made to fit or custom made, it's time we realize love comes in all shapes and shades. It's time we loved all shapes and shades. Mm -hmm.